let's see what's coming your way we do have the two of wands in reverse and the judgment we are finally making a decision about a situation that we um haven't turned our back just yet right two of wands is the universe saying we are at crossroads we need a decision but we are kind of incapable of and guess what now we can oh and why why do we can why do we can why do, do we have the energy to because we are open to work hard eight of pentacles how come we can right we feel like putting in the effort we are done 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 and now we know we need to work on it um two of ones in reverse three of cups we are in reverse right so we are unhappy with the current situation and it's about time we make a sound decision about some something someone and we want to be victorious six of ones we fought enough um you know that, that is the time of fighting uh, the evidence in front of us and then that is the time to accept and let go and go with it run with it six of ones and the tower Oh yeah, we want to be victorious over whatever disruption they brought in our lives, right? We want to be victorious. We want to be the warrior who never gives up. Six of Wands and the Hierophant might be a Taurus. We want to be victorious over this marriage, over this commitment, over whatever traditional things were expected from you. And now we just want to be unconventional and go by our life the way we want it, right? So we do have the Empress in reverse. Um, Libra Taurus energy, we just said Taurus, maybe some of you that is a Taurus involved. The Empress in reverse, Five of Wands, Page of Pentacles. How about we let go of all this? For some of you, it's a conflict you have with uh, this person. can be the mother of your children, the father of your children, somebody significant, important, you once had a lot of love for. And we are in the five of wands, conflicted, in conflict with each other. Uh, we are no longer that generous towards each other with the page of pentacles in reverse, right? We kind of, you know, we got into dynamics that we are not very proud of. Um, I feel and the universe is kind of putting on the table saying look there is nothing else to give with the Empress in reverse Five of Wands we are already conflicted and we have tons of conflict and the page of Pentacles nobody gives up nobody You know, we don't extend generosity and kindness. There is no offer on the table. So why bother? Right? Why bother? So Gemini past energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual now let me have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual, and let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Bottom of the deck, four of cups in reverse. Oh yeah, plus we are discontent and bored, you know? <laughs> it's kind of like the full package, you know? We no longer have emotions, we are not kind to each other. Conflicted plus bored as F, right? As a F. So, um, so Gemini, in the past, I'm going to turn this one because it's the soulmate card. It's the six of cups and it's the only one I, I don't read in reverse with uh, traditional decks or, um, you know, the as I call them, the smaller decks. Uh, we do have the eight of cups and the six of cups. And boy, there was so much love for this person, right, Gemini? Um, six of cups is body, mind and soul energy. Um, it's kind of a connection that withstands the test of time, but I, I believe, um, either them or yourself, it was kind of an in and out, right? Even in the past, they came back to you, you, you went back to them because of emotions and love, reconciliation, walking away to seek, um, God knows what, and then coming back probably for the stability that you offered. Um, the emotions that you offer, the true love um, also that you offer to this person. And a sense of home with the Empress, a sense of home, a sense of abundance, a sense of um, love nest, right? And, um, and then boom, right? And then boom. Now this person of yours, Nine of Pentacles and the Six of Wands in reverse. Um, I 
would say focused on their stability in the past, but also kind of um, full of pride. Um, Six of Wands in reverse is not a lot of effort, but a lot of pride about what they bring to the table, who they are, who, um, you know, um, how grateful you should be, um, actually, right? And be in awe, kind of, right, with the Six of Wands um, because of what they... Uh, you know what they um, contribute to nine of pentacles yeah it's the single card so maybe you know they want to be single but i mainly feel that um you connected with somebody who really needed admiration to be recognized <clears throat> oh, sorry acknowledged and um and um and independent in the same time right nine of pentacles they wanted to be Mutual energies between the two of you, the Four of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Well, at some point in the past, we were not, we are no longer having fun. Um, and, um, you know, um, you know, I kind of hear it. And it's so not, um, it, it's something that I would say in real life, but I'm, it's like so strong. It's like shit got unstable, you know. <laughs> I don't know who this belongs to and what, but it's like shit got unstable. So... <laughs> Um, I'm picking up the energy of no longer having fun, but Four of Wands is pretty unstable, like a, a, uprooting a, a family that once was uh, loving and stable, you know, because um, somebody was um, needed a little bit of independence, um, you know, maybe conflict made them a little bit come from a place of pride, a place of, um, um, you know, um, it feels like disrespect, um, but again, right, you know better. So where are we right now? Five of Swords and the Knight of Swords in reverse. A little bit conflicted again and um, stuck, right? We don't know exactly which way to go at this uh, point. We are not really making a move um, towards them. Um, and in a Five of Swords energy. We might be in a conflict. We might be. Five of Wands, Five of Swords, of course, it's challenges and changes. And uh, something absolutely is going in the opposite direction of what you... Uh, want and um, it makes you doubt yourself it makes you doubt the connection it makes you doubt the person um, five of swords is also the energy of taking advantage so some food for thought for some of you if you feel you are taking taken advantage of at this time um, and you are conflicted and you don't know and you have a doubt well guess what you are taken advantage of you show up here with the energy of being taken advantage of so um, and um, your energy is the energy of swords, the energy of communication and speaking speaking up, right? Um, calling out people on uh, on their behavior. So maybe some of you, right, that's, that's the thing to do, you know, with polite, kind communication, but, you know, expressing what uh, you need to express in order for you to move on because I feel that we are in an angle right now, right? Um, kind of um, cornered, that's a... That's a word I was looking for. Now this person of yours, they are in the Three of Swords energy and the Hanging Man in reverse. So they are equally hurt, uh, Gemini. They are suffering right now, but not really understanding your point of view, right? With the Hanging Man. No, they, they don't feel like they are way too hurt to walk in your shoes right now. Uh, well, if you ask them, right, um, and the energy around them is one of I I don't seek enlightenment. I don't want to I don't want to understand more than I understand now that I'm hurt and this is not what I want, right? Um, it's an interesting energy, right? Um, it is an it's um you know some might say there is no empathy here, but in the same time, three of swords is such a painful place to be, right? Um, and it's somehow it feels like double pain because we came from a place of pride in the past from a place of independence of them focusing on themselves and now they are kind of on their knees which is not a beautiful um uh, you know picture to picture with your mind in in that sense so they are not in a good spot and they don't feel like really opening up to understanding whatsoever whatever needs to be understood in this connection Mutual energies between the two of you, the Magician in Reverse and the Knight of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. 
it is my I love you, I want you, I want to make love to you card, but then it is paired with the magician in reverse. We are blocking manifestation, we are blocking solutions, we are in our emotions right now. Um, and, um, and hurting, right? And by the looks of it, and of course, Gemini, you take the side you resonate with. Um, it kind of feels like the fight is on your side, so... I don't know if you like have kind of good reasons to fight for I you use your judgment um, and in, in in the dynamics with this person is the five of swords the energy we want to solve problem with you know I'm just saying because we we have um, you know multiple ways uh, in dealing with problems and sometimes we fight and we push and um and sometimes it's a matter of strategy it's a matter of words um it's a matter of um you know uh, bringing to the table that type of energy where people open up especially uh, you know ones having trust issues and um uh, and i feel this person has a bit of pride and um and probably also a little bit of trust they like their independence right they don't really um, connect on an intimate level with somebody they might come from that place of of being in retreat a little bit because this connection again I go back to the overall energy this connection had so much love right so much love it has generosity we are building starting to build something page of Pentacles right uh, we put down foundations in the past with the four of ones and uh, we were starting to build something with the page of pentacles right one brick at the time but then but then we got all fights here now moving forward or coming your way five of wands and the tower some food for thought here um and i don't remember that expression about honey and um bees and attracting more with honey than vinegar or something like that that is an expression so guess what five of wands and the tower let's make sure we are not going straight into a wall here okay um because and, and for some of you five of wands is very internal energy right so the struggle that you have within might lead you to unthinkable right and we it's not something that we want to see coming um, so the key is exactly in the same energy. The key is once we solve the the inner conflict about uh, maybe we can avoid that energy of disruption, right? Now this person of yours, they have the page of wands in reverse and the justice, Libra energy. So yeah, they are absolutely, they are not happy, they are not passionate about the current situation, they are disappointed, uh, disengaged, um, and seeking justice and decisions and balance and wanting to find a solution and a compromise with you. Not happy, not happy. I no longer sense pain, um, you know, but... Um, I definitely sense uh, them wanting to mend their broken heart. Three of Swords with the Justice, that's exactly mending a broken heart. Mutual energy is between the two of you, Ten of Cups in reverse and the Sun. Truth, truth, Gemini, truth is coming out. Uh, it has a sense of the truth and um, again some food for thought on your side about how you see this how you think about this five of wands again how you struggle with this and what you do with it that's very important um like for the rest of october if we, we can still avoid and i know it's a major arcana but because of the energies around it the energy of your um internal world and um and how you see this person and how you see this connection and how you relate to it um I feel that you can avoid this. It's all in your power to avoid this. And between the two of you, that is the truth being revealed. And uh, I don't want to say an unhappy truth because you do have the Ten of Cups in reverse with the Sun, but nonetheless, the fundamental truth. That is something coming out. Um, and um, and this person is so... Uh, the, the, the energy around this person of yours is like all that I want is mend my broken heart and have some peace of mind by balancing out whatever it is between the two of you they are not seeking castles right and um, 
just justice, just balance, just karma, just a sense of ease and final decisions, a sense of clarity, right? Justice brings decisions and clarity. So, um, yeah. Now, um, uh, and uh, Gemini, we don't want this um, connection to destroy you, right? And we don't want your beautiful mind to destroy you because, again, we go back to the mind is a tool supposed to help us. We need to control the mind. When the mind controls us and we lose um, control over ourselves, our life, our decision, well, well, that's when the trouble hits, right? So we, I mean, um, right? The mind is a tool. The mind is the tool. The mind has to be the, uh, the friend. Yeah. Let's ask for some guidance. I'm not seeing love. I was thinking, should I say this or not? I'm going to say it. Of course, we have the Knight of Cups uh, at the core of the reading. It is the energy of love. It is the energy, but it's surrounded by all kinds of um, distortions. And I feel it's cognitive distortions because it's this internal world of yours and that mind that keeps you um, struggling with this, right? And this person, is they are just in pain just in pain and seeking justice so um now let's ask for some guidance let's see what we are supposed to do here and we do have the abundance which is the empress right so this is all about creativity abundance money focusing on your career what makes you abundant your mind we do have commitment so how about focusing on the commitment you have with this person and the abundant and a, abundance and a sense of home. We have the distorted feminine. Speaking of cognitive distortions, right, and the way we see stuff, I feel that we kind of need to heal a commitment and um, the stability of a home with um, when it comes to a divine feminine here. And we have reparenting yourself. Oh, we have some therapy here. And guess what? Bottom of the deck. We do have relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for a change. I kind of feel that it's a very personal, intimate um, uh, change, Gemini. Reparenting yourself, it's a very deep, intimate work where we um, go back to the time we were a child. We identify whatever was... Um, you know, whatever trauma we had, um, whatever we didn't have, and be the parent you never had, and uh, teach yourself the lesson that you were supposed to have them in the past. For some of you, it's all about parents and relationships. It has an energy of family and, right, the guidance for you. It has, um, you know, the energy of understanding what type of relationships. It's a strong energy of how we saw our parents behaving with each other and doing love and family, usually we reproduce this. And um, I feel that, um, you know, your guides are asking you, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice, to look into this. Okay, what else? We have freedom. So this is what you need to activate, Gemini. And you do it by saying to yourself, <clears throat> I am releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. We have balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Freedom, balance, love. I am so not surprised. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Freedom, balance, love, and death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. And trust. And I feel this goes with death, right? You can trust this ending. It's the beginning of love. Trusting the end, beginning of love. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly, right? Trust your intuition about love, about death, about freedom, and about balance. Whatever you tell yourself, whatever your first instinct is, it's a good one. Let's have some general guidance. 
And we do have sensitivity. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. We kind of felt that, right? Five of Wands, twice, Five of Swords. We are very sensitive and on your toes. Well, the universe is asking you to breathe, Gemini. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. And again, we have relationship patterns and patterns again. So somebody is guided to work on the type of connection we attract, the type of people we attract, how we do uh, love and relationships and family. Commitment and abundance, which is a sense of family and having everything. So bottom of the deck, if you get nervous, focus on service, Gemini. Put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. Again, what we put out into the world comes back to us. And it's more than true when it comes to relationships and family. We put love, we get love. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as one plus one equals two. Um, so Gemini... This is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.